Welcome to the How to Use Wikitree video series hosted by Wikitree's U.S. Black Heritage Project. Video number one, Profiles. In this video, you will learn the definition of a Wikitree profile, what features you can find on a Wikitree profile, and how to use them. First, let's look at the difference between a Wikitree profile and a Wikipedia page. People often get them confused because they both have the word wiki in their names. These are some general differences between the two. At Wikitree, profiles represent every person who ever existed. At Wikipedia, a page represents people who were notable, noteworthy, and famous. Wikitree is primarily family-focused, whereas Wikipedia is primarily fact-focused. Wikitree focuses on genealogy sources such as birth, marriage, death, and census records. Wikipedia focuses on biographies, encyclopedias, and news sources such as newspapers for their information. Wikitree records people in a family tree format, whereas Wikipedia only has individual pages that may have links to other pages. Now let's look at a Wikitree profile and its parts and features. This profile is for American notable Ida B. Wells. You can tell this profile represents her because both her photo and her name with birth and death dates are at the top. Starting at the top left, this is the primary photo for Ida. There are other photos attached to this profile, but when a profile manager designates one as the primary photo, it shows up here. Next is her name at birth with her maiden name in parentheses, followed by the last name she had when she died. Next are four very helpful hyperlink shortcuts that you'll want to use over and over. When you click on the first one, ID, it will copy the wiki ID for this profile. Her wiki ID can also be found here in the URL and down here next to the date created. The wiki ID is a, a unique ID that belongs to each profile on Wikitree and will help you tell other people how to easily find this profile. The second hyperlink link will give you the code to link Ida's profile elsewhere on Wikitree. For example, if I go to this space page and I paste the hyperlink, the link code, click save, this will now be linked to Ida's profile. If you prefer not to have the dates in the hyperlink, you can delete those from the code if you just want her name. So I'll delete that, click save, and we now have just her name in the link. The next hyperlink URL will give you the URL which you can give to anyone to lead them back to this profile. And finally, cite will give you a link citation you can use anywhere to cite this profile as a source. I'll go back to this space page, paste the citation, save the changes, and this is what it will look like wherever you choose to paste that. Going across, next we can see the privacy lock, which in this case is a clear lock. This means it is completely viewable and is editable by other Wikitree members who have signed the honor code. If we click on the privacy tab, we can see the other six levels of privacy at Wikitree. You can see there is only one option available for Ida because she was born over 150 years ago. All of those profiles must be in open locked. Also, because she is notable, she must have an open profile for Wikitree collaboration. The only exception to this rule is living notables. To learn more about the seven levels of privacy, click on any one of these links and it will take you to the privacy help page. You can also try the different levels of privacy by choosing a different one. There will be radio buttons available next to each one. Uh, for the profiles you're manager of, and then clicking the profile public view here, this tab, to see the profile the same way others who are not profile managers or on the trusted list will see it. While we are on the privacy tab, let us look at one other important feature. By scrolling down, 
You can add others to the trusted list by placing their email address in this box and clicking Add This Person. If you are not the profile manager of a profile, this is the view that you will see. If you wish to be added to the trusted list or as profile manager, click on the trusted list request link right here. When you click on this, you will have a box available here to give them a message ask, telling them why you would like to be on the trusted list. This will send the request by email to the profile manager. Next, let's look at the other tabs on a profile. Clicking on the Private View tab will take you back to the regular view for the profile. The Changes tab will show you all of the edits that have been made to a profile and who made them. By clicking on the change that was made, you will see a side-by-side -side view of the before and after change. In this example, you can see a category was added to the profile for Lloyd Alexander. The Family Trees and Tools tab will take you to the Family Tree view for Ida. By clicking on the Images tab, you will see all of the images that have been attached to this profile. This is also where you can upload any additional copyright-free images or images you have permission to use by clicking on this link. We'll discuss the edit, edit tab in video number three, how to edit a profile. Next, let's go to the information overview section for Ida. I'll click on the profile private view to see her regular view. And this is the information snapshot for Ida. This will list all the names, dates, and locations associated with her. First is her birth date and her birth location. If you click on this little pin right next to it, you will be taken straight to Google Maps for that location. Next, her parents and siblings are listed and linked. When I scroll, you'll notice when I scroll over one of these links, it will give you a snapshot view of that person. Clicking on the Ancestor button is another way to quickly see Ida's family tree view. You can click the Hide Ancestors button to collapse that view. Next, you will see her husband and the marriage date and location of where they were married. And there's another location pin for that location. Below that are her children in birth order. If you click the Descendants button, you will be shown a Descendants tree. And again, you can click the Hide Descendants button to collapse that view. Finally, you have her death date and location and another map pin for this location. Below her information, her uh, dates and locations, you will see the profile managers are listed. You can send them a private message regarding this profile by clicking on the send private message link. In the green box, you will once again see Ida's wiki ID, the date the profile was created, and the date it was last modified. In this case, it was last modified on October 13, 2022. If the date it was last edited was recent, you'll also see what that most recent change was. Before we move down the profile, let's look over here on the right, up here at the top. If someone has asked a question about a profile in our G2G forum and they linked this profile to that question, you will see those questions here. This can be very helpful if people have asked research questions regarding IDA and have, uh, people have discussed additional information. If a relative is within eight degrees of IDA and has taken a DNA test and has added that test information to their Wikitree profile, it will be appear right here. Currently, no one within eight degrees has added their DNA information. Next, going down, is another view of each of the images that are attached to her profile. When you click on any of these photos, it will give you more information, including the source of where the photo came from and who uploaded it. 
If you have a photo that you're particularly proud of or you find very interesting, you can click on this button, Share on G2G, to share it with Wikitree Wide. When you click on this button, it will already set up a post ready for it to go. And all you have to do is edit this information right here, explaining more information about the photo and why you shared it. It will already have her profile linked, and all you have to do is click the Ask the Question button. Let's go back to Ida's profile by clicking the back button. Because this profile is notable and managed by a project, the very first item you will see at the top is what we call a project box. And this links to the project's homepage. If, you're more interest, if you uh, want more information about any projects that manage profile, just click on that link and it will take you straight to their project's homepage. It will also give you information on those project homepages, how to join the projects if you're interested in that. Often you will see what we call stickers at the top of a profile. These are visual features of a part of the person's life. In this case, we have a sticker that declares Ida to be notable and a sticker that tells us that she was a suffragist. Please see the video on how to use stickers for more information on this fun feature. As I scroll, you will see Ida's biography followed by the sources down here at the bottom that were used to create this profile. Many times the sources will have links that take you straight to the document itself, so you can click on these links to see them. Scrolling down further, if you knew the person personally, you can add a memory right here by clicking this button, Post New Memory. Here we have the comment section. Clicking on the Post New Comment button is another way to communicate with profile managers. They will receive an email about your comment. You can ask a question about the person or offer new information that could be added to this profile. Please don't post any comments about how you're related to the person since hundreds or even thousands of people could also be related and these comments stay on this profile forever. Instead, you can add that information to your personal profile or use the descendant sticker. Below the comments section, we have the matching and merging section. This is where you can propose a merge if you find a duplicate profile for Ida since we only have one profile for every person who ever existed. That means we can't have a duplicate. Here we have the unmerged match section. If you think you've found a duplicate, but you're not quite sure, more research is needed to um, check and see if they're duplicates or if they're not, you can propose an unmerged match. Use the rejected match feature when another person has the same name and was born or lived in the same area and time. This will help prevent people from trying to merge their profiles since they're so similar, but they represent different people. I'm going to skip this connection feature for last because it's such a fun feature and one of my favorites. Right below that, we have what we call the category section. These are similar to tags. We add these to a profile to tell you more about the person and to group them together with other people who have similar uh, features and interests. By clicking on any of them, let's click on NAACP, you will see other people who are also NAACP leaders. See the video on how to use categories for more information on the purpose of categories and how to make best use of them. Now, my favorite feature on all of Wikitree, the best for last, is the connection finder. You will see several people linked right here. And it also tells how many degrees relationship away from Ida they are. These people change every week based on whatever the uh, Connection Finders theme is. This week it is aviators. That's why you see uh, Charles Lindbergh, for instance. Ida is 28 degrees from Charles Lindbergh. When you click on one of these links, it will show you the path between Charles Lindbergh and Ida. And you can see that she is related to Charles Lindbergh through marriage. 
Every time the color changes from green to yellow, yellow to green, this means that a marriage took place. The last two links down here at the bottom right will show you your connection to Ida B. Wells. If I click on the genealogical relationship link, this will tell me how I'm related to Ida through blood. If I click on this, unfortunately it says I'm not related to Ida. So I'm going to go back and choose the Your Connection and see how I'm connected to her through marriage. In this case, I'm 27 degrees from Ida D. B. Wells, and you can see the path it took to get from her down to me. Have fun with this feature. Once you're connected to the global tree, you can go to any profile on Wikitree and click on these two links to see how you're related. But note, these relationships may change slightly over time as more family profiles are added to the tree, possibly making your relationships closer, or the accuracy of family lines are improved with more and better sources. Now back to Ida. These were all of the main features of a Wikitree profile. Feel free to try them all out. Click on the links, see where they go. You can right click and open things in a new tab or hit the back button to return where you were in the beginning. The best way to learn how to use all of these features is to create more profiles and try them out. See the next video on how to create a profile for more information on how to do that.